Hello, this is Nick from Vimpure. This is a clip of an interview I recently had with Dave Lamont, the former CEO of Revit. Revit was funded by Leonid Reis and Erwin Jungris in 1997, and it was initially called Charles River Software. Dave became CEO of Revit in 1999, and the first version launched in April 5th, 2000, along with his amazing trailer. The company was eventually acquired by Autodesk for $133 million in 2002. The concept of BIM was formally introduced by Autodesk after the acquisition of Revit, along with a white paper called Building Information Modeling in Practice. The white paper literally says it is an innovative new approach to building design, construction, and management introduced by Autodesk in 2002. The introduction of BIM was a marketing strategy to help promote Revit and distinguish it from AutoCAD. In this clip of the interview with Dave, we discuss how Revit got its name, the Autodesk acquisition, and how they ended up inventing BIM. You can watch the full version of this interview by checking the links in the video description. So for whatever, the, the core idea, in fact, the name Revit comes from Revise Instantly, right? Yes. So was that the big killer feature that it was allowing to yeah, well, I mean, We sat at a whiteboard, like brainstorming mm -hmm. names, and you know, mm -hmm. that one won. Rev, Rev, Revise, hey, how about Revit, you know? <laughs> it was no more scientific than that. Uh, but yes, it means revise it. And, and really, you know, what Revit's big advancement was being able to have a parameter, drive a piece of geometry, a wall, right? And be able to change that and have the wall update and the drawing associated with it update. And so, you know, being able to revise quickly which is, you know, the real problem in in computer aided design systems in general, was the inspiration for that product. I mean, the, look, the real interesting story is mm -hmm. we angered Autodesk quite a bit. We we were extremely <laughs> aggressive in our marketing. In fact, at a trade show, we had someone dress up in a tracksuit with with a sign that said AutoCAD and a chain around their neck. <laughs> and they walked on the treadmill for the entire time of the trade show. It was probably the AIA convention. And um, and so we really kind of angered Autodesk, and they actually tried to sue us, claiming that we had taken training materials, which sort of made no sense because we can only train in Revit. And, um, and so I wound up reaching out to Carl Bass, who was COO at the time, and um, we met in New Jersey in a diner. Mm -hmm. And we, we went from from a lawsuit to a merger in about wow. two and a half hours eating a pastrami sandwich together. OK, OK. So it was from a rival to <laughs> to partners pretty quickly. So from what I've heard, like the concept of BIM was not used in the initial run of Rivet's marketing. It was uh, it came later when after the Autodesk acquisition and the white paper they published to uh, to announce Revit in 2002. Is that accurate? Yeah, to be honest with you, we were in a conference room in New Hampshire in Autodesk's mm -hmm. office, and we were brainstorming even what BIM meant at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Phil Bernstein was there, I think. Uh, Alex Nias, my head of marketing, and we were sort of just brainstorming how we could position Revit with a bigger idea. And um, I, I guess I've read that the term BIM had come about earlier. But we thought we invented it, to be honest with you, in that room that day. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah. I'm not sure if we did or not, but we thought we did. Solve your BIM problems instantly with a BIM Pure subscription. It includes expert-led courses and downloadable content. Get our collection of core Revit courses. Download high-quality Revit families and templates. Watch mini courses with various BIM and AC Tech masters. Attend exclusive live events on topics such as Revit families and Dynamo. BIM Pure includes fresh content and updates. Join now at bimpure.com.